Battlefield 4, back to Metro. <laughs> What's going on guys in the works? And oh no, another trailer breakdown. Uh, but never fear, this is not a trailer breakdown. I briefly considered doing one like last night, but uh, you know, they're going to show so much more multiplayer stuff today. I didn't really feel like, you know, I probably would do one and there'd be like, you know, six different things that, that pops up during the multiplayer live stream. Uh, that's happening today and tomorrow so I figured I'd just wait on talking about the multiplayer uh, but there is something that we're going to talk about that is actually pretty interesting to me and we're gonna be watching this uh, this multiplayer gameplay in the background I know you guys have probably seen it like a million times uh, but I've seen it a ton too and I still enjoy watching it I think it would be a good backdrop to what we have to talk about which is the second assault DLC and you're like Jake another DLC you know we haven't even really seen a ton about the multiplayer, and we already know about the first two DLCs, which is China Rising, which we've talked about in the past video. Uh, I'll link that in the description if you want to go and watch that at the end of this video. Uh, but then we also have the second Assault DLC. And essentially what this DLC is going to be is fan favorite maps from Battlefield 3. They're probably going to pick the four or the five most popular maps. I'm guessing they'll probably do four. I mean, they typically do four uh, that seems like a, a, an even number. They'll pick four maps that they consider the most popular maps from Battlefield 3, and they're going to revamp them with the new, you know, the, the advancements in the engines. They're going to give them some overhauls. I'm sure there'll be more destruction like what you see there with the, you know, that rubble falling down, and then he blows up this pillar right here. Uh, so they're going to up the ante probably on the destruction side of things, because I think a lot of people were disappointed a little bit in Battlefield 3 on the amount of destruction that was was a, throughout the maps. They expected it to be a lot more. Uh, a lot of people even said, hey, you know, it was less destruction than Bad Company 2. Uh, so they're going to up the ante on that, and they're also going to make them look a little bit more sharper graphically and stuff like that. I'm sure they'll make some other tweaks here and there, but essentially these maps are going to be the four most popular. And by most popular, I don't know if that means the most played because they often release the stats of which maps are the most played on each console and even PC. And you can see, you know, what the community really likes to play. And uh, if I was a betting man, I would say we were definitely going to see Metro return. I mean, I don't see how we would have a Battlefield 3 inspired DLC pack without seeing Metro return. And a lot of people are like, oh man, you know, I absolutely hate Metro, but in the back of their minds, they're like, yeah, you know, some Conquest Metro, can't wait to get back into that. Because let's face it, I know you guys, when you just want to go in there and get a ton of kills, you go play Conquest Metro, or like Nose Hair Canals TDM. So I'm really guessing that Metro is definitely going to be one of the maps, but that leads me to think, what are the other three maps going to be? Are we going to get, you know, one from each DLC? Maybe we'll get one from Aftermath, one from Close Quarters. Uh, and the one thing I did notice about the multiplayer footage that you're watching is this is what I thought Close Quarters was going to play like. Uh, when I first heard about Close Quarters, I was like, all right, yeah, level fighting with some outside areas that are a little bit more spread out. But once you go into the buildings, there's going to be a lot of up and down fighting. Uh, so when I watched this, I was like, wow, this, this is what Close Quarters should have been. And that makes me think, hey, are they going to maybe take some of the Close Quarters maps and expand them a little bit? Maybe that'll be one of the maps that comes back. But... I would say they're probably going to keep to the Battlefield 3 vanilla maps. I don't know if they'll they'll dabble in the DLC. I would love to see some Aftermath maps return if that's going to be the case because those maps are still pretty new. I mean, uh, since they've only been out since December, they still kind of have a fresh feel to them, I guess. So uh, it wouldn't be as bad as getting Metro back and, you know, Nose Hair Canals. But I'm guessing they're going to stick to the vanilla maps. So that leads me to my next point is which maps do you guys want to see return? I mean, you can talk about anything, but I'm going to put a poll in the description like I used to do with the showdowns. It's basically going to list every single map in Battlefield 3, and I want you guys to vote on which maps you want to return. You know, pick your favorite. Um, that's how we'll do this, and then maybe later on down the line we'll take a look at that poll and see what the four maps that you guys picked were. Because um, I'm actually pretty curious what the community thinks, because sometimes I feel like depending on which console you play on, depending if you play on PC, obviously, uh, which platform is probably a better way to classify that, it tends to be different. I notice a lot of Xbox TDM servers run a, a big variety of maps. It's not always just Nose Hair Canals, Operation Metro, Sing Crossing. There's all sorts of different maps out there. Um, so it really depends. I think some of the consoles, they like to uh, they like to mix things up on TDM because TDM is a popular game mode, and I think that's kind of what skews the stats a little bit because um, I think if you really sat down and went in-depth into it, you would see that Nose Hair Canals is only popular on TDM. It's not popular on Rush. It's not popular on Conquest, although I personally do really like that map on Conquest. It's probably one of my favorites, but um, that's neither here nor there because we're talking about the consensus of the people. 
Uh, so what four maps would you guys want to see return? How do you feel about this DLC? Uh, is it, you know, too early to be talking about the second DLC already? But Second Assault essentially is going to be the four most popular maps determined by, I guess, the developers uh, coming back into Battlefield 4 from Battlefield 3. So uh, pretty interesting, you know, something to think about throughout the life. I was actually pretty impressed about the, the reveal trailers and the re multiplayer demo I saw. I thought it looked really cool. Uh, I already mentioned I thought it looked like what Close Quarters was supposed to be from the get-go. So uh, I have high expectations for today's stream and tomorrow's stream. Hopefully we'll get to see a ton more. Um, Destruction, they've really brought the their game when it comes to destruction. So I think you guys that are fans of that type of uh, thing in, in the Battlefield series are going to be very pleased with Battlefield 4. So hope you guys enjoyed this. I will see you guys next time. Peace.